the finance minister has been a wonderful architect to the prime minister modi's vision of an india for the future as i look at the budget from the point of view of the economy and capital markets five key themes emerge first a significant push to drive investment particularly in infrastructure at this stage of our economy investments have slowed down significantly and we needed a big boost to investment in infrastructure the budget has made a significant effort to increase investments in infrastructure through the budget itself and also through public sector companies allocating significantly more resources for investments two the budget is a big plus for the financial sector there have been a number of moves announced in this budget which will boost the financial sector setting up of a holding company for public sector banks increasing the focus on monetization of gold through the financial sector focusing clearly on the importance of debit cards and credit cards as a key basis for transactions of the future merger of fmc into sebi uh, significant benefits for real estate investment trusts again through the alternate investment platform are all very significant steps which will help the strengthening of the indian financial sector number 3 move away from cash the budget discourages cash transactions and therefore will bring a lot of the informal money into the formal sector this is good for resources for india and indians in the future fourth simplification of the tax regime no major changes and a path to a lower corporate tax over the next 4 years again the middle class has been fully protected and the rich in india with incomes above 1 crore will pay a little more but save on wealth tax so keep it simple tax philosophy is very good for the long term on the fifth point the fiscal deficit for 2015-16 which was earlier anticipated to be 3.6% may be higher at 3.9% i do not think this is a big factor but it will have some implications on the fact that rbi may drop interest rates a little slower than what would have been anticipated earlier but from the point of view of financial savings this is not necessarily a bad thing because savers will get be- continue to get better returns also i am happier with a slightly higher deficit at a time like this if more money can go into investments all in all i think the budget has a longer term vision it is something which i think will clearly help the making of india and that is something which is important for us and i would request investors to invest long term this is not a quick hit and run budget this is a budget by an architect who's building a new india just as prime minister modi wants to build 100 smart cities so invest patiently for the long term and i am extremely excited about the future of india over the next 5 or 10 years thank you very much friends